Hey guys, today's video is a swim meet first impression on the Arena Cobra Core Racing Goggles. And yes, I know that this looks weird. The light is like reflecting off of the reflective part of my hat and it looks really weird. So just, just ignore that. <laughs> and these are the mirrored version that I got. I wanted to get the clear ones, but honestly, I thought they would look a little bit weird on the eyes just with the way the lenses are shaped, having the clear version. So if you guys saw last week's video, that was a first impression on the Speedo Fast Skin 3 Racing Goggles. And that is actually this weekend. I'm at the same swim meet. I'm at Speedo Sectionals this weekend. And I decided that, spoiler alert, since I didn't like the Speedo goggles, I would also try these out this weekend. So we're just going to go ahead and open them up. All right, so it slides out of the plastic little case. So I honestly think that I'm going to like these just because I've studied through the box the way that they're shaped. And they look like they're shaped a little bit deeper than the Speedo ones. So I really have high hopes and I think I'm going to like them. All right, so here they are. Satisfying peel. Ooh, they're so pretty. These immediately look so much deeper than the Speedo ones, and I actually have those with me right now. You can tell that the Arena ones over here are definitely a lot deeper. So I'm going to try them on my eyes and just see for a second. <gasps> so much deeper and so much more comfortable. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited now. A lot of you commented on my Speedo video last week and said that I would definitely like these a lot better because they are deeper and so I was immediately really excited and now I'm super duper excited because they do fit really well. So I didn't get a chance to mention this in my Speedo video but the adjustment straps on the Speedo Faskins are absolutely impossible. That looks so confusing. It's like we've got a hook over here and when I tried to adjust them I couldn't even get the strap hooked back in. You guys can see it's like kind of rolled right there so it was just super weird to adjust and I kind of gave up and they weren't really as tight as I would want them to be looking at the arena adjustment right now and it's just a regular adjustment contraption thing so this should be a lot better and a lot easier to adjust so another complaint that I had about the speedos was how flat the nose piece was and that it really dug into the top of my nose I can immediately tell that the arena one is a lot more curved so it definitely fits a lot better Ooh, it comes with a really nice bag for them I will put them in there to keep them safe for right now. There's also a bunch of extra nose pieces, so that's really nice. Um, I think the Speedo ones only came with two or three extra nose pieces. This one looks like it has six extra nose pieces, not including the one already on the goggles. Wow. All right, I'm heading to the pool right now, obviously, so I will see you guys when I get there. warm-ups and I did not get to do a start I wanted to go change into my knee skin and I came back out and they were singing the national anthem so I was like oh crap I missed starts honestly these felt so amazing in warm-up that I trust them to do a start for my race in them they feel really good the suction on these is super amazing and honestly they fit super well to my eyes and the adjustment on the straps was really great the straps are kind of flat so they actually fit onto your head really well without sliding or rolling and they look super sleek when you're wearing them so not only are they a little bit deeper but arena also did a really great job of making them like nice and sleek as you guys can see right there they're nice and smooth in the water and they do feel smooth it's weird how I could actually feel it. It was super cool. I have 100 breast and 100 fly today, so I will see you guys after my 100 breast and let you know how it went. You guys, my knee skin just ripped. Ah! Look at that. This is my engine suit. This is like my baby. Oh my goodness. I was literally in the middle of changing and it just ripped right down the butt. <laughs> I'm so sad. This isn't even a goggle check-in. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that it rips and I'm really sad. And I have 200 IM today. This is the next day, by the way. I decided to do like a two-day first impression. So I raced yesterday and I will talk more about my races later. I have to go swim. But anyway, luckily my friend had an extra arena racing suit for me. It's not a knee skin, but I'll take what I can get because I was wearing my Jolin tie back. So that's like, that's all I had. And I was an idiot and didn't bring my dolphin knee skin today. So I think honestly, it's nothing against the suit. I've just had the suit for two years and I love it and I wear it all the time. And I think, I think it was just time. It was time for it to go. So yeah, I will see you guys after I race with a goggle check-in. <laughs> 
I'm finished with my meat and I'm in the car, as you can tell. And I am so impressed with these goggles. Anna's back. Anna, come say hi. Hello. Anna. <laughs> Now, I do want to tell you guys about yesterday. I didn't get a chance to do a final check-in yesterday, and then I thought, oh, I'll just make it into like a two-day first impression so I can finish up all my races. And my very first race was the 100 breaststroke, and as you guys know, I didn't get to do a start and warm-up that day, so my first start with these goggles was in my 100 breaststroke race. I was really nervous. I was behind the blocks. I was like, should I push them on really tight? Should I not? Because a lot of you guys commented on my Speedo video, the trick with those goggles was that you didn't have to push them on as tight. And so I always smash my goggles on as tight as they can possibly go. So when I got up on the block for breaststroke, it was just habit to climb on the block, smash them on my eyes, and then take my mark. So I did that. But of course, I'm already on the block, so I smashed them on my eyes, and it was way too tight. My eyelid was like like this inside the goggles. It was making my eyes start watering, and I had to finish my race like that. I could barely see the wall because, you know, when you can't see out of one eye, you have no depth perception, so it was really scary. <laughs> and I had 100 fly next. So I thought, okay, I won't push them on as tight for this, which was giving me a complete panic attack because, you know, I feel secure smashing them on my eyes because I know they're not gonna fall off. So they were comfortable, they weren't smashed on super tight, so they ended up being really comfortable too. And I dove in for my race and they didn't leak. These goggles were super awesome because not only were they not squishing my eyes, I didn't have to smash them on as tight and get like horrible goggle marks and they still stayed on. So I was super impressed after that race and I did the same thing for my 200 IM today and that worked really well too. I also wanted to address some of the claims on the box. It says that they are no leak which is very true. It says no fog, which that can be a really controversial claim to make on goggles because you know, anti-fog never works once it gets wet. I got these goggles wet so many times, just being in the pool, I dropped them in the pool once, so they got fully wet and I made sure not to rub the lenses, but they did get fully wet and they still haven't fogged on me yet. So that was really awesome. I was really surprised about that. I totally expected that to be a lie. I was expecting to come on here and be like, they lied, but they didn't. It also says max comfort here, and yes, that is so true. They are incredibly comfortable. So, so, so comfortable. Something I've noticed in the difference between these goggles and like my Speedo Vanquisher goggles that are just meant for practice is the seal on these is a lot wider and it's a lot softer. And I think that makes them suction to your eyes a lot easier. Whereas with, you know, the Speedo Vanquishers and the engine goggles, since the seal is a little smaller and a little bit more stiff, you end up having to smash them on really tight like this. These are the mirrored version of the goggles, but when you put them on, they're actually not mirrored at all. They're not very dark. So as you guys can see, it's not like super duper dark, but it's just a little bit darker. So I've worn mirrored goggles inside before and it's so dark that like, you almost can't see the wall and these are nowhere near that. I would honestly call these smoked goggles because they're a lot like my Speedo Vanquishers, which are smoked and they're the same darkness as those. I had a few of my friends try them on too and they all loved them a lot more than the Speedo ones that I had them try the other other day they all put them on they were like oh my gosh those are insanely comfortable <laughs> so everyone liked them it got a thumbs up from everyone that I had try them on so thank you guys so much for watching this video please leave me a comment down below if you have tried these goggles and what you thought of them and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe if you haven't already to see more bye I have the visor light on this light on and my big ring light on and I bet any car driving by us right now is really confused <laughs> Don't leave me! Wow. There's a lot of people down there all of a sudden. <laughs> you know what? I don't even give a crap that they're staring at me. Not was. Am. Still am. That makes no sense. Stop laughing at me! <laughs> and I was really- Whoa! It's like a purple beam of light. On my Speedo race skin- What? Race skin? <laughs> on- On my- on my Speedo Faskin goggle video, and you said the, the trick with these would... I wonder if I can show you guys. Let me see. It's not gonna work. Ooh, it is working! Oh. Whoa!